Hey guys, Guan Yu here. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing awesome. So right now I'm on my second review of a game I should have done when it came out, but didn't have the time to. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be told how this game actually is without any real bias towards the other shit that's going on. And our first stop for this game would be graphics. Now, graphically, if you're not playing on PC and you're playing on a console, this is a pretty good game. If you're playing on PC, then you have the option to actually up your graphics at some point in time. So let's go ahead and take the bias out of PC and just say we're just doing this at stock graphics. Stock graphics, I would say that this game is pretty good and I like it. I like the way the stock graphics look versus how it could go for other uh, the other Mass Effects that were in the line. Now I'm saying this as it looks like a completely different Mass Effect and not the same as the Shepard trilogy that we all know and love. The Shepard Trilogy had its own graphical boosts and bumps, but it was also limited to the consoles itself. People don't seem to remember that, so it's odd when we see people say that the graphics for Andromeda is dog shit. No, you're just biased and you need to stop. <clears throat> However, when we talk about the graphics, we can't not say anything about the horrendous animations. Now, that, on the other hand, is shit. And I got my hands on this game when they were fixing the animations itself. So, what I'm experiencing isn't too bad versus from a lot of people who received the game beforehand. So, with an honest opinion, I would say the graphics and the fidelity of the game is awesome it's extraordinary the animations not so much playability of the game is excellent excellent to say the least it's it's amazing i like zipping around in my spaceship i love the combat system and it is phenomenal what they did with the combat system and anybody saying differently is holding on to some sort of nostalgia that I have no fucking clue what the hell you're thinking at any point of time when you're playing this game. Combat is so damn on point that it really doesn't matter what system you're playing this on. Controller, um, sorry, uh, keyboard and mouse and controller, it doesn't really fucking matter how you're playing this game. It is excellent. It's so on point. There is no milliseconds that is that is wasted. Whatever you want to do, however you want to build your character to handle anything. We're talking soldiers, a pure tech build, uh, a biotic god build. It is, it's feasible in this game. And it's actually, I would dare say, it's more feasible in this game than it was in the last Mass Effects. Now, when it comes to action, action goes along with playability. The action in this game with said combat and what you do from time to time, which is zip around your spaceship and go and do the Star Trek versus Star Wars type action, it really hits the nail on the head with this game now what I can say is what when you're comparing this to Mass Effect 3 there is no loss when you're comparing this to Mass Effect 2 it feels a little less Star Trek and more Star Wars Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. and that's not really a bad thing when you think about it The ratio we're going to go with is the talking to action ratio, and I believe they hit a simple mix, and I would like to say that this is the mix that they should hit in their future games. Nothing too, 
too bad. But nothing extraordinary. So I, I, I would give it a medium for for action. Sound sound is pretty good. I like the sound. Some sometimes you'll hear like a tinning, and you have to have you have to have one. You have to have earphones, and two you have to be a sound whore. Now from playing games like Call of Duty, and I know a lot of people are gonna hate when I say this. You learn to sound whore pretty quickly. So you would love to hear certain ambiances and you would catch on to certain ticks within the game such as voice acting, ambience, ambient sounds, firefights, certain sounds of your ship. It's all there. And I would like to say that I like seeing that people are paying attention to sound more in the development teams and I love that they are actually giving us a feast. That means if you're using uh, Adobe 7 point or 5.1 or 7 point channeling, you're going to get your money's worth out of this game, which is gr which is great to say. I believe sound should always be on the forefront when they develop not just graphics and not just frame rates even though frame rates are more important yes. graphics would come next but I want to see sound up there with them as well so sound I would say is an excellent excellent thing they've done story now for stories I would say that Bioware has has always did a discombobulated story. And for anybody who has seen the the trilogy from Mass Effect, the Mass Effect trilogy, it's always been a discombobulated story because it's it's broken up and it comes back to the end. In fact, Bioware has had this problem from the beginning. And no one has ever really looked at this problem until Mass Effect 3 and I believe everybody knows what I'm talking about when everything literally was the same ending. It's because Bioware can't tell an ending correctly. They can tell a story. They can tell the story of different people. They can tell the story of the galaxy. But when it comes to an ending, I don't think they understand how to actually tell separate endings correctly if reading a bunch of um if you've ever read books uh let's say if you ever read um the perch in the pear tree if you ever read um a lot of uh sherlock holmes like i've done you would understand that an, a good solid ending is what you would need to wrap up a game and and the problem with Bioware is they're giving you a some of them are giving you a lot of free will or some of them gives you pseudo free will within the game that you would expect multiple endings and unlike a lot of people I wasn't really mad at Mass Effect 3's ending because that was the forlorn conclusion that we should have all realized it was going to be one of three endings Bioware's flaw is their endings suck, but their continuations are great, making you understand that Andromeda will have a continuation later on down the line. This story isn't over. So, with that being said, their story, I would have to say, is... As you're trying to continue it, continue this, continue and to sell more games, is above average. So, in the end, I would like to say. Oh well, let me go ahead and give some of my gripes before I actually give a score. A lot of my gripes would have to g deal with animation, of course, and I will always have a gripe with every game that does this. 
and this is separate from animation, but the nature of the beast of gaming now is more so you're not getting whole games. And I think this is this is just how they believe that gamers want to receive their their packages of their games. And I believe that it started with the laziness of all of us as gamers to just not tell them we don't want half games. So finishing their games or not finishing their games have led to what we are now looking at, which is the debacle of Mass Effect 3 of being an unfinished game. While we're letting patches finish the game for us instead of them actually being more confident in telling the production or the uh, the uh, publishing team yo we need more time and that is a problem with EA in general they've they've done this for years we've known this and I think that we as gamers need to tell them we want games finished All right, well, now that that mini rant is over, my score for this game, I would say, for everything that I've played, would be a solid 7 out of 10. It's a continuation. And with it being a continuation, I have to remember that this isn't Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. That this is a new chapter. And as a new chapter, there is a great story out of it. And this awesome story should be continued. Anyway, this is Guan Yu 007 signing out. And you guys have a great day.